Mummy. I don't want to go to school today. Why? You said that yesterday. You have to give me a good reason why you don't want to go to school. Jennifer, the school cheerleader and her friends are bullies. They love picking on me. Those proud rich kids. What provoked her meanest towards you? She want me to be her star for her team to win the basketball school competition coming up. She knows with me her team will win. Not that she likes me. Jennifer, will never be friends with kids, whose parents are not in place of power or influence in our society. She wants to be friend with me. So our team will win. Always wanting to be the spotlight. I can't allow her to use me for her fame. So I decided to join Betty team. She was mad and told everyone in our class not to speak with me. I see. You made the right decision. Do you want me to talk with the school authority about this? No mummy. I don't want the kids laughing at me. I'm going to figure a way out. What if she is mean to you today? Do you want me to change your school? Will that be better? No mummy. I'm going to report to the school authority myself. Hi Paula. Why are you all alone here at the locker room? No one wants to speak with me. Else you speaking with me now. If Jennifer finds out, she's going to be mad with you. Who's Jennifer? She knows her boundaries. Jennifer knows I can fix her, so she stay far from me. How? Jesus is in me. I have all authority, power and influence. With Christ in me. No kids can intimidate me. I know who I am. Jesus makes me bold and confident. And he's the one I have been telling you all about. I see. I will think about it. Jennifer, Bliss went against your words. Speaking with Paula. Don't worry yourself about Bliss. I will deal with Paula. Until she joined my team. Are you scared of Bliss? No Debbie. There are kids you don't want to mess with. That's who Bliss is. I understand. The Jesus Boy. Have you changed your mind to join my team? No. I'm still okay with Betty team. And you can't change my mind to join your team. I see. You are proven hard to get. I will get you. This time. I will ensure the whole school kids don't speak with you. You get that? Nonsense. Nonsense. What's the matter, Paula? Tell me what happened out there. Jennifer and her friends wants me to join their team. Since I refuse and prefer Betty team. They pick on me and she threw away my lunch. <laughs> Stop sobbing. The proud rich kids will always want to intimidate other kids. To get what they want. This is how the world is Paula. They are rich kids. I can't punish them. I don't want to lose my job. You just watch your back and stay far away from them. You are the headmaster of the school. Yes! But their parents are the president, senator and governor of this great country. I hope you understand. How was school today, Bliss? Great, Mom. It was wonderful. I'm taking you to your dad's office. Guess where your dad is taking you to? To the shopping mall. <laughs> to the museum. Mom, please where? To the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. I'm on top of the world, Dad. I'm so enveloping the magnitude of the view. Nothing in this world can be compared to the feeling I am getting. Ha ha ha. I'm happy you love it here on the mountain. Enjoy yourself, son. My heart is filled with wonder and awe of how amazing God is. The air is enjoyable. The view is so peaceful and beautiful. No fighting. No intimation. 
no injustice here. Dad why is there fighting, intimidation and injustice in our world? Jennifer, the school cheerleader, Debbie and her friends always intimidate Paula. Because she refused to join her basketball team. Paula told the headmaster Mr. John, but he refused to punish the girls. Because their parents are leaders of this great country. My concern is how will there be peace, loyalty, justice and love in our country. Prayer. Prayer. How, my son, for us to have peace, justice and love in our country. The scripture tells us what we must do for it to happen. What are they? 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 says, I exhort therefore that first of all, supplication, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honest. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved, and to come into the knowledge of the truth. I see. If we follow these instructions by praying for our leaders first then we will see the changes in our country. Does that include the head of school? Yes! Ha 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 ha. Woo, who? I will pray. When we pray more this way, God's righteousness will be established in our nation, cities and communities and all forms of evil, turmoils, wickedness will be warded. Dad this means, I have power to bring peace to my school and cause the head of school to judge. Fair! Yes. It also means, I can bring God's righteousness to Jennifer the cheerleader, Debbie and her friends, including Paula so they can receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. Yes my son. You are a representative of Christ in the earth and in your school. Woo, who? Glory to God. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can change my world. You are born to shine sun. I really enjoy myself with you on the mountain today. We can go now your mom will be waiting for us. Hi Bliss. Hello Paula. How may I help you? I discussed with my mom what you told me about Jesus Christ. And she said it will be the best decision I will ever make. So see you tomorrow in school. Great. It's the best decision to been born again. See you tomorrow in school. And say thank you to your mom for me. Bye. I'm shining. It's my season. Season of glory. Season of power. Hi my name is Anne. I believe you are inspired and blessed by this video. Please subscribe, like and share this video so we can reach more people. Kindly watch the next video. God bless you. Are you born again? Are you ready to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Do you know Jesus? Do you want to rededicate your life to God? Do you want to experience peace in your life? You too can begin a new life with Jesus Christ today. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. Oh, Lord God, I'll believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name. I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us through the comments section. See you in my next video.